Each Monday, we highlight someone in Western New York who is making a difference in the community, whether it's a business person or a nonprofit leader. Well, tonight, Two On Your Side's Kelly Dudzik takes us to Buffalo's University Heights neighborhood, where you can find a unique library. We're at the corner of Maine and Northrop at Buffalo's only tool library, where you can borrow tools without having to buy them. For just $20 a year, you get access to over 2,000 tools, so ranging anywhere from your basic hand tools, as you see on the wall here, to uh, power washers, chop saws, weed whackers, all sorts of great things. The University Heights Tool Library is the brainchild of Darren Cotton, a Colden native who moved to Buffalo to go to UB. I ended up living in the Heights while I was an undergrad, sort of fell in love with the neighborhood and have been here ever since. What inspired you to open up this place? So I was actually living um, off campus with a couple friends in an off campus apartment. So it was like first time I was living on my own, super excited about that. But unfortunately, we had uh, a landlord that wasn't so great. So me and my friends started doing a lot of the work ourselves. Um, but unfortunately, as you know, 19 year old college students, we don't have a ton of tools. Uh, so we had to end up raiding our parents' garages for a lot of the stuff we needed. And that really got me thinking, you know, I'm sure I'm not the only one in this situation. And the idea for the tool library was born. Darren developed a business plan and started applying for grants. So we had probably like 30 tools. So when people walked in, it wasn't a very impressive display. It was kind of like, as I like to say, three rakes on a wall. The concept is simple. Pay the $20 membership fee and you can borrow up to five tools for up to a week at a time. Whether you're fixing up your home or building a garden, the tool library is open to everyone. We do pretty much operate on an honor system. You know, we've lost a few tools along the way, but overall it's been really impressive the way the community has sort of embraced the concept and also sort of respect the fact that, well, if I don't return this tool, then no one else can use it. Darren and his team of volunteers also team up with other community groups like the artists from Team Razor Wire, who were city shapers in June, to work on projects to beautify Buffalo's neighborhoods. I really hope the tool library continues to grow. I would love to see one in every neighborhood. It's a great, um, I think, asset for every neighborhood to have and is a springboard for ideas. The tool library is staffed entirely by volunteers. And if you have tools you're no longer using at home, donations are accepted. Someone else just might be able to use them. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News. What a great idea. I love it. You got to do an odd little project and you don't have the right tool and you have to run out and get it and you may never use that tool again. Exactly. Yeah, yeah no, it's a great idea. So you may have a few things to donate. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I got to grind. I'll be bringing it down to you. There you go. Take a look at the journal for today. 80